Aloha, this is Green Lightning Mr. T, and welcome back to the bonus episode for Drill Dozer. This episode, we're going to be cracking these secret combinations and just trying everything out. It is even worse than I originally read it. You have to actually insert the numbers in a specific order. You can't even just guess the right combination, you have to put it in the correct order. It's so. It's so ridiculously over the top. It's so dumb, so dumb. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do are the three levels of code unlocks. So, com get, ah, putting all these in will enable you to put in the other codes that actually do things. So, the first level one codes. So set the third number to one. Set fourth number to three. Set the second number to four. Alright. Shoot, I already did it wrong. Ah, this is this is why this is dumb. Okay. Set this to one. Set first number to two. Set this to four. No. Set this to three. Then the second number to four. So I think that that means it worked, I guess. Um, so this is for the level two codes. Should I do? Well, I'll just say which num level they are when I, as I do them. So third number to eight. First number to six. Fourth number to five. Second number to three. Yeah. Okay, this is for level three codes. Second number to eight. Fourth number to two. First number to three. Imagine having to like type a password into a computer, except you have to type the letters in a specific order. That's, that's what this feels like. Third number to five. Okay, we should be able to input all the all codes at this point. Okay, supposedly we don't have to worry about the order for the rest of the, the, the codes. We can just happily put them in and they'll just should just work. All right, so I'm gonna do the three important ones, and then I'll do all the cosmetic stuff. So, let's see. So, I'll do this one first, even though it's listed last. All right. Actually, with the, hold on. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll do this one first. All right. So this is f for the sound room, which, first of all, so you have to have, the, as I said before, you have to have the soundstone for this to actually work. Um, it is... This is level one. It's 
Nine, four, three, four. So, on the save menu, there will now be a thing for listening to sounds, I guess. Okay, now this is for level 2. It is a full gearbox. This will enable you to play all the levels starting each level and with the third gear, so you don't have to go looking for the upgrades. And again, level two, and it's seven, eight, six, seven. I should probably also just go ahead and put this in the description for the, for the video. So I will do that. Is it going to explain how to use it? Because there's, there's additional instructions for how to actually use these items. You don't just... Yeah, there's no explanation after you... <coughs> Imagine going through all the work trying to figure out all these stupid, silly codes, and then you don't even know what they do. It's just... I will ex explain, of course, when I'm done in putting codes, but... For now... This is level 3 code. And this is for the Master Seal, which enables hard mode. Uh, 7073. I first have to do this. I want to double check. Do you actually? I remember seeing that. Yeah. Okay. So the soundstone requires the soundstone, and the the master seal requires having collected all thirty-one treasures and earning the the highest rank crime boss in order t to a activate. So. Yeah, yeah, those are important. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save state, and we're going to try out some of these other cosmetics. Yeah. These are going to be a bit all over the place. Yeah, I'll try. Well, I'll just have to tell you what level level they are because they're like different things. Because so we have wallpapers and then we have costumes. I think that the wallpapers are like whoops. Well, are for the t text box background or maybe the background of the pause menu. I'm not really sure. Um. Let's try some of them. All right, first one in the list. Standard. Oh, well. Hmm, how weird. I feel like we should do that one later. So let's um do, let's do the, the one after it. Uh, this is. So called Samurai Level One. Code is four zero eight nine. Okay, so that's 
like, samurai wallpaper right now as we're reading it, I think. Yeah, it's not gonna it did nothing to do with the pause menu, it's just for text boxes. Alright. So this is Rockstar, apparently. I don't know if these are official names, but they're the names that I'm reading to you right now. This is also level 1, and it's 1814. Actually, pretty nice. Maybe if I like one of these enough, I'll actually just use them. I mean, there's no... You know, it's all cosmetic, shouldn't cause any issues. So the next one's called UFO. This is level 2. It is Control Center, apparently it's again level 2, and an 8785. Eight, 87, what was it? 8785. Eight, I guess. I've got the feeling that I'm not gonna particularly care after all this. You change it back to any of them. Alright, next one's called Happy. It's level 3, and the code is 5074. Like, just clouds? Alright. And now we're the standard. So this is level 1 and it's 2403. So I assume this standard means what it was originally. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Yeah, I don't really care to change it to something else. Alright. So this, we're now moving on to costumes. This first one is level 2, and it's 4181. It calls it Thief Treads. It might just be that what it, like, is considered default, because I don't think I've changed anything. Of course, it, did, it wasn't Thief Treads could have been anything, so that was confusing. Alright, well, next one is School Clothes. Level 3, 5716.
Wait, where are these differences supposed to be happening? Hold on. Oh, okay, just using them lets you change it on the fly. Okay. Oh, the wallpapers also change the Red Dozer's trailer appearance? Or the inside of the trailer? Okay. Yeah, all right. So the ch the the costumes just remain unlocked apparently. So it's definitely worth putting the costumes in. And then I can alternate between them on the on the in the select menu or something. Okay, so our next one's frog, level one five seven four six. Five, seven, four, six, yes. Next one is blue overalls. This is level three. Have I been mentioning the level the, the levels? Whatever, it'll all be in the description anyways. Um, thief got thief dreads was two. School clothes was three. Crog suit was one. This one next one is level three, and it's code five eight five four. Okay, this next one is Stylish Skirt, level 3, 2828. Cute clothes, level one, two zero nine four. Futuristic Clothes is next, level 3, code 1419.
Okay. Next one is a nurse uniform, level three, two, four, three, eight. Next one is Inspector Uniform, level 2, code 2485. I'm gonna try something. 58, sorry, 2458. Can I just. Yeah, you don't have to reset it every time. And the last costume is level one, code nine zero two five, drill dozer coveralls. Okay. Gonna save. I don't know if I don't know if these like codes go away if you turn off the game. Doesn't really mention that. Does it mention that anywhere? No, it doesn't really mention that anywhere. Well, I can test it out myself, I guess. Okay. Seeing as I can undo all these things anyhow, I'm gonna make a save state again. And... I guess I'm going to start... Because it says the trailer looks different, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna just fool around with that and see what they each, each look like. Oh, yep, yep, it definitely does. All right. So that's Samurai. I'm just using um, the start of level two because that seems to be the fastest cutscene. Did well, the first one was doesn't seem to be. Whatever, you get my drift. Alright. Yeah, this one's Rockstar. This one's a UFO. Nice. Control setter. <laughs> That's happy. Okay. Now, one other thing. I guess which is going to require me to do this. I'm just going to see, like, do these codes go away every time you turn off the device or reset? Wow, saving in this room actually re puts me back in this room. Crazy. I didn't. I forgot you could save where you were. Like, saving in the levels actually matters to the game. And no, everything's still unlocked. So, anyways, here's here's the costumes. Remind myself what the freaking things call themselves. 
So these are thieve treads. School clothes. This is a frog costume. Oh, it's literally just Mario. <laughs> Blue overalls. Stylish skirt. Cute clothes. Wait, that's... Oh, futuristic clothes. I don't know if I, if I would call that futuristic, but whatever. There's a nurse uniform. The inspector uniform, I guess. And then jewel dozer coveralls. And then this is the classic, I guess. Interesting. I'm actually surprised that the stuff sticks even after, uh, you know, exiting. Because normally, like, you'd always have to put codes back in after turning your device off, but not this game, apparently. So, uh... I guess, um... Let's see. Over here. Yep, Soundstone. So, this literally just, just gives you access to every, all music in the game. Holy mackerel, so that's a lot of soundtracks. And of course all the sound effects in the game. Okay! Now, the other two things. Um... The... Uh, what's it called? The full gear box. Let's see. Do this in level area two again, since this doesn't have as many cutscenes. Now... To activate... Okay, you hold R and select. And yep, you get... Your thing turns gold, and when I go into the level, I should have all third gear, basically. All three gears. <laughs> it even goes straight into the third gear music. Yep, alright. Cool. I don't think there's any specific requirement for that. You can get the full gearbox as soon as you have access to the secret room in the tutorial level. You know, the code room. Yep, alright. I have to remember to turn that off, I think, yeah. Is it off? Is it actually off? I can't tell anymore. Because <laughs> the, 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 the cursor was changing colors. Okay, it's off. Good. But, like, Jill was remaining gold. So that was confusing. Is she, are my still gold? I don't know. Whatever at this point. Um... Okay, so now hard mode. Last thing I have to explain. Um. I guess the best way to do this. Oh, you're doing that. Is a save and quit. And then reset the thing because uh, it crashes. I guess it crashed, yeah, it crashed when it, after the credit sequence too, so I guess um, this game doesn't know how to go back to the title screen. <laughs> whoops, uh, whoops, fine when you reset at least. Alright. So on this screen, you hold LR and start. Oh! Oh! Okay, I finally figured it out! You have to do hard... Okay. You have to do a new file on hard mode. Okay. God, I wish I had said, some, said that! Because I spent the last ten minutes looking all over the internet trying to figure this out. Okay. Um, I still want at least an idea of what I'm getting myself into. 
Well, uh, it still lets you skip stuff. That's actually really nice. And yeah, okay, I'm just stuck at one health permanently. Alright. Fortunately. I, I'm not gonna actually complete this. I'm just. I'm solely going to. Find an enemy. Just so I can get myself killed and see what happens. Do I restart the room? Is it a game over? What the heck happens? Of course, it's like the a while before you get the first enemy. So you'll have to excuse the speeding through. But I... I've been working at this for so long and I just want to know, what am I getting myself into? Yeah, yeah, yeah second gear, second gear, go, go, go. Yes. Okay, first enemy, incoming. Pretty sure it's these guys. What happens? You just blow up. You pay chips in order to continue. Okay. So chips are your lifeline. I wonder if that, if I wonder if it like consecutive ones to cost more. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> and of course, because this is is a bad emulator, um, or something. It's it can't handle. It can't handle restarting the game. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Um. Well, now I know what I'm getting myself into. And that's gonna suck because the first level, I'm not gonna have chips yet. <laughs> Alright, but I know what I'm getting myself into. I'm looking forward to a good time. Well, we will probably figure out um, very quickly <laughs> um, whether the the chip price just keeps going up on consecutive deaths. Alright, so... Yes. We are officially done. So, next... Um, the next... I will be... Continue, of course I'm continuing the game. It'll... I'll be putting it in a different playlist on the channel. So that people will be able to find my challenge runs easier. It'll be... I believe this is my 40th Let's Play, so it'll be like oh, 40 and a half, basically. 40.5, that's what I did for the Metroid thing. Anyways, uh, I hope this was um, explanatory for the codes and stuff. Um, I know I just, I'm going to have to like put it in text, but you only have to put in the third level code to unlock all codes. You don't have to put the other... For, you don't have to put them all in, just only the highest one. Okay, I think that's it for this bonus episode. Again, the series is going to be shift moving over to the new playlist. Hope to see you there. This series has been a blast. And I don't... And I... And I... <laughs> um, it's... I kind of got, like, half and half. Um, I was worried, it was, like, there were, like, my two options were it was gonna let me restart the room I was in, or it would just be straight game over, it kicks me out of the level. It's the middle road. You have to pay chips to restart where you were. <laughs> it's, that's funny. Okay. So. Man, I'm gonna forget all the treasures again. Dang it. I, I thought it was since it was gonna, like, work on a 100% file, like, I was gonna mandate that I would have to touch all the chests anyways to consider it completed, but nope, it's a straight-up new file. Oh boy. Anyway, how... Who, anywho. This has been the Green Lake Mr. T. Hope you enjoyed. Aloha.